Is anyone in the mood for another AI based plugin? I must be honest, I'm not quite. It's kinda lame. A lot of AI plugins are kinda uh, like tech demos, but you cannot really use them. And I don't know, maybe the one that I'm showing in this video will be just the same. Maybe not. So it comes as a standalone application and also as a plugin. It's called Text to Sample and I think the name is pretty catchy so far. As you can see, I could just memorize the name and type it into the search and then it will pop up. That's not always the case because I'm pretty bad at memorizing names. So yeah, when that works, then that's already a good sign. So good so far. Good. Um, Okay, what is the thing about this plugin? Well, you can type in a text or drop a sample and a text. Then you set the duration and the context, which is like how much more audio it should generate around the loop that it creates. That the loop doesn't start from like the beginning of a song, but like has some context. And then you hit generate. So the first thing that I wanted it to make was a Psytrance kick drum. And that sounded like this. That sounded a little bit weird. Maybe this application is messing with the door. So let's instead actually use the door and load this as a plugin. It's good um, that it also has the same samples in memory now. So it shares a state with the standalone version. I like that. Up until this point, it seems like this was very cleanly implemented and that's a surprise because oftentimes these AI plugins are the ones that feel a little bit weak on the user experience side. So, okay, let's go. I, I kind of remember this to sound a little bit more like actual side trends. But yeah, maybe I just remembered that wrong. What I wanted to actually say is that it does generate a Psytrance kick drum, but it also generates more instruments around it that sound a bit like Psytrance. So you cannot really use the sample for just getting a kick drum. And then I asked myself like, what is this whole program even useful for if it cannot create one shots? I'm always saying that to all of the AI developers, I just wanna create random one shots that I have the idea of. There has to be a use case for something like this, right? So I thought to myself, okay, like what if I just want to generate some music in the style of a popular artist and then sample that music, purposely generating samples that sound like samples that you would use to sample in music that is remixy. So I told it to generate a song by Enya called Etherical Winds. <laughs> It created this mysterious sounding sound that does not sound like an Enya song because it sounds more like something sound designy that you would hear in a neuro bass or color bass track. Anyway, I like this sound even though it was not what I expected. So I drag it out and yeah, that works. Now I have this sound in my arranger and I cannot hear it because I guess this plug-in when it's loaded, it probably eats the whole audio buffer. Yeah, okay. So this thing doesn't let through the sound that you already had on the track. It just replaces it with whatever this plug-in plays. We just found the first thing about this plugin that is not implemented as you would expect it, which is exactly what I meant earlier when I said that oftentimes the people who make AI plugins don't really nail the basic plugin features. I still try to find something useful about this plugin. I already found one thing, generating weird samples. It looks pretty lonely here when it's the only sample in this project, but it could be pretty powerful in a different context. Anyway, what confused me most about this sample was that I didn't hear any voice. If I asked anyone make a song in the style of Enya, then I would totally assume someone to pop some dreamy vocals into a song. So I tried to be a little bit more upfront about it and said, female voice singing, yeah. That is totally a female voice that sings, yeah. Can you hear how it says, yeah? Yeah, yeah. It totally says, yeah. Well. It's a cool loop. I definitely want to keep it as well. And what did I do then? I dragged this onto this thing. Uh, or I clicked on continue this audio, yeah. Would be cool if it can be dragged as well. Now I could add a prompt about how it should continue the sample. Define the duration, which is not the complete output sample's duration, but how much it should add, by the way. Didn't change the text because I still wanted to hear a female voice singing yeah, and I thought like maybe okay, then it will interpret some yeah, 
or something like that. But what actually happened was... Now that's interesting because it sounds a lot like the music that you hear from this really old AI called Jukebox. If you Google Jukebox or search on YouTube here for tracks um, people have made with Jukebox, there is some pretty cool stuff. And it gave me an idea. When you run this continuation thing over and over again, it gives you different outputs every time. So theoretically, you could make a whole song, let it continue only a little bit every time and then repeat the process so much that you get just the right parts. And I tested if that would work by making another loop from the same bass loop and it sounds like this. And that is totally a different way of continuing the sample than the other one. Even though I like the first one more. Now we are writing a song. This is going to be the, a new beatmaker challenge. Make a song only from applying this plugin over and over again. So starting with this pre-ringing kick. Okay, I have no idea what I'm doing by the way. This is a weird workflow, completely without the grid and stuff. So I, I think I like this beginning. So that means I can just add this audio and this is probably the stuff that it looks at. And then I tell it three more seconds of this. I don't know if I need so much context. Probably not. Let's go. Generating audio. Your machine is hard at work. Now this sentence is interesting because it implies that this application actually uses my own computer for the AI work and it's not using the internet. In order to confirm that I would have to turn off the internet. Yeah, now I did that. So we will see if that works. <laughs> I don't like that, that's too uplifting. Something techy, maybe that will make it work. Actually, I'm not sure if it considers the text when you input an audio sample, maybe that's just like completely irrelevant, even though it says and or and not just or, so. Mm. Okay, that seemed to work, that sounded more techy. Let's make it color base. Okay, um, maybe colorful synths, colorful and vibrant synths. Okay, that sounds like something that could generate something juicy. Because obviously color base was a little bit much to ask. The data set probably doesn't even know what that is. Okay, I, I kind of like that. It has kind of summer house vibes. It is really a shame that this thing cannot create one shots because this kick, for example, sounds pretty solid. Now I'm wondering if Bitwig actually has a snap mode that snaps to events. Cubase has something like that. Okay, let's consolidate them and bounce them. Now I want to test the feature of the plugin where you can drag a sample into it from the DAW itself. Because you know, you might just actually want to use this in a project where there is also non-AI generated content. And that, well, it doesn't seem to work. Uh, okay, then I have to do it from inside here. Let's turn down the duration to just two seconds and give it a little bit more context. Wild super source and strong kick. Mm. Let's see what happens. This will be quite an evolving piece of music. Nothing that people have danced to before. But the world's desperately waiting for this new genre. Now obviously this looks a little bit weird now because it's mixing stereo and mono signal. But that's just because of the bounce. Okay, so currently we are going into like a progressive house area. Progress pro progressive house meets shoegaze. Let's try that. The last four kicks will be the context. 
I'm just wondering, does it use this context or this context? Now that there is already audio, it's not quite clear, to be honest. The developer should make better tooltips than this. I think there was a manual. I don't want to check now though. I'm in the creative process. Okay, it didn't quite make the jump to, sho to shoegaze, but I think it at least continued the vibe. It sort of sounds a little bit more muffled in this sample. I'm not quite sure why. Now I really wanted to lose some grip of this beat. How can I do that? Ambient shoegaze or even borderline shoegaze vibes. Come on now. And you have a little bit more time to come up with something as well. Maybe even four seconds. A little bit less of the audio context so that it can go harder on what happens next. Maybe giving it a lot of information isn't even a good idea. I just imagined if I just gave it not even a 16th note, it would only see some sort of uh sound and then it could like interpret anything into it. Oh, <laughs> okay, yeah, that's definitely going into a more experimental direction. That's cool. Okay, some of this kind of reminded me of the sounds that you hear when the target show begins in Germany. That's like the news in the commercial TV station or the one like the, the TV station of the government sort of it's kind of weird I guess people from other countries will not get it so will not know the word Tages show I will still say Tages show theme news breaking news orchestral political yeah that, that might hit the spot and of course we add the last sample and give it only a little bit of stuff to look at. And it should create a new duration of 4 seconds. You know I was a big hater of all of this AI stuff in the beginning of this video. And I think it's definitely still justified. But this thing is a lot of fun. Passive, hmm. That's weird. But I do like the vibe, so let's just keep it. I don't want to be too pedantic about a song, such a song. However, what I do want to be is ending this video because I think you just saw the point of this plugin already. Like, you can make fun games with this, and it's definitely worth checking out and has more or less a cool workflow, even though some of the things don't work exactly like you would expect. It can surely be also be used for different stuff than my little game here, like just generating samples that you can use for sound design stuff. It's always a nice use case for things like this. Uh, this plugin definitely gets a thumbs up from me. Running an AI without internet locally on my own machine, creating cool samples and all that for free. I mean, sure, that's like combining the best attributes of normal plugins and AI plugins.